this is Anthony Tamilio. Uh, he has written a great song on the three methods of heat transfer from what he learned in Scientific Inquiry. Now uh, let him run a show for us. Now the first way of transportation of heat energy is radiation like sound waves from your local station filling up the emptiness in open spaces you'll radiate to heat up a room but it can give you a tan too I'm talking about the sun and sunburn isn't fun now listen up closely to me everyone the sun radiates at a rate from 93 million miles away. The earth takes the heat and re-radiates it up into the sky is where the heat is taken. Conducting is the second method on my list. You can feel it like a hot pot on your fist. With the handle grip or a candle lit, it's heat through conduction that causes this. Atoms in matter vibrate in a position when they are heated like a pan up in the kitchen. They transmit the heat to atoms next to them that are cooler to cause equilibrium. The high up the score, the heat has to move like the heat from the coffee on your spoon. It might burn your hand, but you will learn the land of conduction until you understand. Convection moves the heat in liquids and gases to even out the temperature the fastest. Process is called diffusion. It's the flow of hot and cold in a fluid. If you're not listening, stop what you're doing. This is the final way that heat can move it. It affects you every single day. It's the breeze at your back and the wind in your face. When it reaches the earth, it rises at a rate with the air in place. With the air in place, it moves up till it cools. Lots of molecules make up the weather that we see on the news. It's how they measure the pressure of air and temperature. But convection is how it got there in the atmosphere. So don't be scared. You have it over there. Three ways of heat transfer. Yay! Good job. Thank you.